we're reviewing Rabbit Hole. Straight bourbon whiskey finished in PX Sherry cask. Welcome back to Brolic Whiskey. I am MetaHuman Dave. And I am from The Matrix. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. We are going to try Rabbit Hole. Straight bourbon whiskey finished in PX Sherry cask. Alright, so 30 year old Pedro Jimenez barrels. I will say this, Mike. This is not actually distilled by Rabbit Hole. This is only bottled by Rabbit Hole. They source their whiskey. Uh, the mash bill is made up of 68% corn, which is going to give you a lot of that sweetness. It's 18% weeded and 14% malted barley. From there, they use a number four char on their ex-bourbon barrels, age it for five years, and then an additional six months in the Pedro Jimenez sherry cask. Wow, what was that face about? Um, I'm a little bit impressed right now. It smells great. A little, little bit on the uh, waxy side, very sweet. Oh, that is very, very sweet. It's very sweet. Um, Flavor-wise, it again comes off very sweet. Uh, a little caramel, a little candy, like there's some type yeah. of candied something in there. Like this is this is straight out of one of those candy stores out of the bins. Now I don't know if it's because I'm having a little bit of sinus issues today, or I'm just not getting a whole lot of sensation out of the nose on this glass. Really? I'm not picking up too much. It's, a, it is light. It's waxy to me. A little bit on the the sweet caramel side. But it, on the on the palate, it's definitely very sweet. And I don't know. First off. Once again, we have to thank this man. He, he donated yet another bottle. So thank you, Jonathan Castle, for donating this bottle. Um, I'm starting to believe he just doesn't like sweet tasting whiskeys. Yeah. And this is like this a, is a this very is a, nice sweet. I'm a, another bourbon that I actually like. So <laughs> I like this one. It's a dessert. This is like um, a whiskey sundae. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm very surprised. I'm, I'm surprised. That it's just sherry yeah. pulled out a lot of good sweet flavor notes. I don't know if I'm totally off base here, but I'm thinking I'm getting a little bit of cherry, a little raspberry. I mean, I'm getting dark fruits on the back end. Yeah, some kind of tart fruit, right? Yeah. yeah. And you you mentioned it already. Dessert whiskey. Yeah. It's a thing. Um, when my wife and I go to Urge and Oceanside and we drink some whiskeys, a lot of times if we get dessert, I always ask for a recommendation for a dessert whiskey. So far, they've all been misses. I didn't agree that they were dessert whiskeys. This, this is a good dessert whiskey. This would probably yeah. pair really well with a chocolate cake or chocolate fudge brownie type of thing. I like this, man. Yeah, the the on the nose it's it's not as impressive as the uh, in in the mouth the flavor wise. Mm -hmm. At least more impressive in, in terms of drinking it. Um, it's a little on the waxy side on the on the nose for me, uh, but damn it, this is uh, wow, this is pretty enjoyable. It's pretty enjoyable. I think I I have a new number one favorite bourbon. I think this this takes the lead out of wow. out of Black Feather. I might have to put them next to each other and try them just to see. Make sure we can do that. Yeah, this is a. But I don't. I like it. Um, it only blows me away because it is so dessert-like. Favor notes, Mike. While I dilute them, hit them up with your score. You know, uh, it, it's a one-trick pony. It is sweet, but I've really never heard anyone complain about French toast. So, I'm in on a, on a strong seven here, right around strong that range. Strong seven. Yeah, right around that range. It's it's very easy to drink. It can be enjoyable. You're not gonna. It's not gonna blow your mind. It's not gonna wow you. It's not gonna to uh, elicit intelligent thought. It's just something you drink and enjoy. Wowed me. So all right. That's where we differ. Uh, that PX Sherry definitely is gonna bring out the sweeter flavor notes over. Like the other one we had was an Oloroso Sherry, which makes it more dry. Um, this. The, the, the mm. nose doesn't impress me. And again, I don't know if it's just because I'm having a little sinus issue today, but the nose doesn't impress me. The flavor did. The flavor I enjoyed a lot. I'm giving this a solid 
Um, I'm really digging this. So thanks again to Jonathan Castle. By the way, this is batch number four, bottle 70, 7519, okay? So uh, if, if you are trying it at home, check your bottle, see if you're dealing with a different batch number or bottle number. The other thing is, if anyone knows, please leave a comment down below. I looked their website up, I looked all, all different sections, I can't find out anything on what this actually means, but they call it their fingerprint edition, or fingerprint, yeah, fingerprint edition PX series. Uh, what does that mean? I don't know. Um, and it also is 46.5% alcohol. It doesn't taste like it. It doesn't. It, doesn't it goes down like it. real light. I can tell you right now, um, a little bit of water, and I think it just got much improved on the nose. Mm. Yeah. When I smelled it, it got very pancake syrupy, like super sweet, which is which was much improved over... Here. Yeah. Smell mine, because I, I just got like thin, a little bit of alcohol, like... Yeah, your sucks. That's so bizarre yeah. how it always happens, like one extra drop changes. Yeah. Oh yeah, yours does smell a little more like syrup. Yeah, mine got very pancake syrupy. Uh, Flavor-wise, I think it stinks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not enjoyable. It uh, kind of pulls yeah. all those alcohol tote yeah, right it, out of it. Yeah, but it brought everything bad out of it. I don't like it. I'm going way back to like a four. Um, wouldn't suggest it. Wouldn't wish it upon anybody. Uh, there's too many uh, uh, good things going on originally. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Look at that. A little fly liked his his whiskey. Well, all right. <laughs> so um, with water in it, it makes a great fly trap. There you go. Yeah. Oh, God, that's gross. <laughs> uh, score it. Oh, yeah, you oh, did I, score I, it. You I'm gave it a four. four. That's, that's um, granted, we already know ours smelled slightly different, so I'm not sure if ours taste different. I'm going lower on mine. I'm dropping mine to like a 3.1. The uh, the water really ruined this one. Yeah. I enjoyed it a lot, neat, but for some reason, diluting it did not do anything for me. Yeah, stay away from it with water. So I got this question asked in another video: is if we often don't like these whiskeys on the rocks, why do we do it? The reason is because we do it at, for as a science experiment for you guys. Yeah. You guys get to see what our opinions are on the three ways that most people will typically drink whiskey. And also, for the sake of, Mike was coming into this channel as a brand new person to whiskey, so he represented the new people, or newbies to yeah. whiskey. And most newbies are quick to go straight to the rocks. And we wanted to show someone who is a newbie going there and seeing what he normally says about it. Yeah, we're trying to save you time. If you agree with the things we say, we might save your time, save you some whiskey if you enjoy the whiskey straight out of the bottle, you know, instead of doing it on glass. Uh, I, the ice looks good on film and movies, but it's not necessarily the, the only way to do it. Right. And I found that out because of this channel. So I always, I always assumed that you put it on the rocks. Yeah. But yeah, that's not the case. It's way better without the ice in most cases. This is, yeah, this is, this is unique. Um, it's not as good as neat at all but all those horrible notes that i got from the dilution i'm not getting because of that chilled effect so i'm not getting the harsh acetone type of burning sensation and it pulls out some of the sweetness i'd still say hands down go neat yeah but this is not as bad as it was with just a couple of drops of water it's still not worth it um there's no I don't think there's any way to paint this nicely. It's just not worth it. Yeah, just, I'll, I'll bump it to like a four though. I'm keeping to... it, keeping the same before. It's good or bad. It's all negligible. It's not worth it. Stick to it straight out of the, the bottle. You know, um, pour it in a glass and enjoy. Keep your room temperature. I think it's good as is. Don't try and make it cute. I agree. Drink it neat. Thanks again to Jonathan for donating another bottle that we really enjoyed because. Uh, we seem to be liking almost, almost everything that you've
donated so far. Yeah, stop liking. <laughs> yeah, just just stop liking everything. <laughs> just buy it, but don't like it. <laughs> Send it our way. We'll review exactly. it. Exactly. But uh, all right, blue pill. No, we, we we didn't take the blue pill today. We went down the rabbit hole uh, you and have to uh, make sure your blue pill. Come on, see Alice. Let's go. Oh, thanks for mentioning my shirt. I forgot. Uh, all right, we we are definitely. We're not opposed to anyone who wants to be a sponsor of this show. Hmm? As you know, most of our shirts that we wear, with the exception of today, he's not wearing a Deadpool shirt. We oh, usually yeah. rock superhero apparel. So Some type of nerd we, gear. We'd love some nerd gear because I bought this from Amazon. This one is uncomfortable. It's tight. You can't tell right now, but it's kind of off, off kilter too. <laughs> so, Superman so, is drunk. <laughs> We'd love for, for someone to send us some good gear. But we went down the rabbit hole. We enjoyed this one neat. Love to hear your opinions. Let us know what you think. Let us know if there's anything else in the rabbit hole lineup that we should check out next. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon so you don't miss any videos that we produce. And with that being said, we're two dudes. Rating whiskey and referencing old movies. Chopsticks.